Half face, full face, and you. Let's talk about it. Hello everybody, this is Noah Particular, and I'm here to do a comprehensive pros and cons list between full face protection and half face protection for airsoft. Starting with full face pro. Majority of the face pro that I've seen consists of mainly paintball masks, whether it be the Die 4, the Die 5, some of the Empire stuff makes, and as well as the stuff that Vulcan makes. This is my personal full face protection. I got this as a going away present from whenever I joined the service from my home paintball field, Foxhole Paintball and Airsoft in Kansas. That is a Rasta color variety. I know they also make ones that are fitted more for Milsim, which are consists of the die cam version they have both in the i4 and I think the i5 also has a die cam version as well. Uh, I also know that Empire does a lot of Milsim mill sim style paint jobs as well and if you don't like it you can also paint it customize it however you want full face pro offers a lot of good ideas for first off you don't have to worry about full seal because all of the paintball masks will come with foam inserts all around the eyes so full seal is not something you have to worry about as well as it's also just a one and done piece of kit you don't have to worry about spacing in between a set of eye pro and a, and a mask you don't have to worry about misaligning, you don't have to worry about fogging. I don't think you can fog this. I think it's physically impossible. I've never had an issue with it. I've played in weather where it's 110 degrees and I've played it where it's negative five, both in this, and I'm yet to fog. I've played it with glasses on and I've played it without. It's yet to fog. That being said, Face Pro, another a big downside that a lot of people have is, is the fact of how flashy it can be. Especially if you're working in a mill sim, you might not, if you're going for pure immersion, the paintball mask isn't exactly what you're looking for if you're trying to do a modern, whether it be a seal, green beret, tack P style setup. You're not going to want a paintball mask because if you're doing an impression kit, I don't, I've never seen military wear this. Speedsoft, paintball masks are really, really popular in Speedsoft and there's a good reason for that. Full Face Pro, especially within a paintball mask, is a great option. However, some downsides that also need to be looked into. Paintball masks, whether it be brand new or used and still in like new condition, can be, can be pricey if your budget is not that large. I think a brand new Die for now, you can probably find for a little over, I think around 105, 115 uh, US. Die I fives, I have no idea because I don't need to look into a die I five when I have this. If this breaks or if something happens to it, then maybe I might look into an I five. But as of right now, I don't. There's not really a need for me to. Another big thing with another big downside to a lot of full face protection, such as a mask, is the lack of concealment in a way because a lot of times it's a big bulky mask especially whenever you're trying to aim down sights for a rifle, rather it be a sniper, rather it be a pistol carbine kit, or rather it just be the average M4 that everybody and their uncle has. You're not going to be sniping like Novridge or house gamers in a paintball mask. You might be able to get away with it if, this, if the scope's on a high enough riser, but for standard scopes and a standard rifle stock, it's not going to be that possible. That being said, that is a that is a really big pro for a lot of the more low profile half face protection, such as this one tigerish, one tigerish, one tigress mesh face mask. How it's just mesh right down the middle, and on the other sides it is padding, not the greatest, but it does exist. It is there, padding on it, not the most breathable fabric in the world, but it is still thin enough to allow you to get a good sight picture if you are using a red dot, if you are using a scope, or if you are using a magnifier with a holograph, such as like an EOTech, plus it's three times magnifier, I think. And this is my first set of actually decent half face pro. The first face pro I ran was the Matrix Mesh. I don't even know if you'd call it half for face protection because it ran from one ear to the other and it just completely looked around kind of like a psychopath mask. <laughs> so this was my very first set. I love it, can't recommend this enough. 
However, the, the Facebook that I've been using right now, that I've been using recently over the past three, four months, is this. It is the Delta Mic, the UK based seller. So I don't know if you can get it in the, in the US or any other country. You might. I don't know. This is the Delta Mic face protection. It is a snood, I think is the proper term for it. And all it is is just a piece of mesh uh, steel, I think, that goes just over your mouth, just like this. And so you can still talk, you can still look through it, but if need be, you can still take it down, wear it around your neck, because it is nothing but just a giant neck sock. All around it's just mesh. It is kind of see-through, not the most. They have different colors. I know they have different kind of camos. I know they have Marpet, they have OCP. I think they have Multicam Tropic. They also have Fleck Tarn as well. That's your, if you're really into that, don't know why you would be, but hey, more power to you. I don't like Fleck Tarn. I think it's the dumbest thing camo ever, but that's just me. Overall, when it comes down to it, either of these are really up to your preference. This can be a lot more expensive, but like I said before, it is just a one piece, throw it on, well worth the money. I've been rocking this thing for about two years now. Highly, highly, highly recommend. That being said, there is also, it's very expensive, especially if your budget's not that large, especially if you're just starting out. Really popular in CQB, really popular in Speedsoft. I'm not quite sure about the popularity being all that high for Milsims, especially the ones where realism counts. On the other end of the spectrum, you have really low and minimal face protection that's, that can still protect your shiny white teeth, such as the Delta Mic or the One Tigers. While it might not look as cool and as flashy as, say, a paintball mask, not, might not have the sticker potential that what you'd see on some like the Union guys, the Speedsoft team in Los Angeles, I think, that is still a very good piece of kit. It is an absolutely essential piece of kit. I ran no face protection once I turned 18 because the field didn't require face protection if you were over the age of 18. I was playing at, uh, at, over at Foxhole, and I think the second or third weekend I went out and I didn't have any face, bro. It was the day of my high school graduation party and the day before my high school graduation. First game of the day, I got a two shot out. <laughs> That's that's one of the risks you have to you're gonna run into if you don't wear face pro. Wearing face pro and wearing not, I'm not your parent. You can do whatever you want. I cannot recommend face pro. Rather it be full or rather it be full face pro, such as a die for an empire mask like what they have, or it's just a simple one tigers, or even something as minimal as this. I cannot emphasize face pro and eye pro enough. Because at the end of the day, you can't play airsoft if you get an eye shot out. You probably can. But it, you can only see half the game at that point, and so you're only getting half as much fun. Same thing, you can't pose for awesome Instagram pictures if you're missing teeth from not wearing these. I cannot recommend these enough. And I know there's a lot of people that, that say, oh, I've been not wearing face pro for years. I've never gotten a two shot out. You're probably absolutely right. You probably won't get a two shot out. However, you still might, and your timer's ticking. That's all I have for you today. Again, as I said before, as I said before, and before, and before, it's really up to you. Both of these offer really unique aspects, rather they can be seen as a good things or bad things, rather it be price and comfort and looks, or minimalist, concealable, and immersion effect. Both will still protect your teeth, both might still be able to offer some sort of cool looks, rather if you're looking for more of a speed soft setup or a Milsom setup. Thanks.